it going? Today, I bring you one rather unique, but quite uncommon and special treat. The 1963 Buick Riviera. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Riviera. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, touch on a little bit of the history of the vehicle, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Street Side Classics in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. The exterior color is known as Willow Mist, with a light cream cloth as well as vinyl interior. Fires right up. color keyed steering wheel with chrome accenting to match the interior. This one did come with the optional power assist steering system. It's very fluid if not effortless. Long sleek chrome horn insert. Also has power brakes replacing the two speed turbine drive Buick Dynaflow automatic transmission. This particular vehicle has the optional three speed automatic. A little bit more modern than its predecessor. You notice a little bit of difference in the configuration in this vehicle versus a more contemporary. You have your low gear selection here, as well as reverse all the way at the back instead of the traditional forward position. And we're going to come the headlamps. It does have four power windows, very quick. And we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? In 1963, the Buick Riviera first made its appearance as a, quite a groundbreaking car known as GM's full-size personal luxury coupe, it's basically directed at more businessy executive individuals with a thirst for performance and modest luxury. It basically broke away from the traditional full-size luxury vehicles by eliminating fender skirts, tail fins, excess chrome, as well as dramatic angular styling. Aggressive hood lines meeting up into a subtle cowl with your polished aluminum strip and small Buick logo. The pieces on the end are actually vertical grills your full chrome bumper with modest bumper guards with an overall dramatic yet muscular and subtle tone that definitely made it unique from other vehicles on the market back in the day. And as we come across the side here you can see just the subtle amount of chrome without being too overly done but giving that little bit of extra luxury touch. Ornate badging found throughout the vehicle as well as an aluminum accented wheel well with a set of one of the optional 15-inch full wheel covers mounted on two 2575 tires. Full power self-adjusting drum brakes with fin drums located up front. The car is a body-on-frame design with double wishbone front suspension and a live axle rear suspension with trailering arms and track bar over coil springs. Basically, the Riviera came with many of what you would expect as options as standard, such as the standard power steering, standard air conditioning. It was quite a groundbreaking car like I mentioned earlier. Your flush rear window, you have your broad roof line with modest angles. Coming down, you can see a little bit more of the definition of the hood from this angle. Polished trim going around the windows, as well as your manual exterior mirror. The Riviera measures around 208 inches long with a width of 76.8 inches and a height of 53.1 inches, all on a total curb weight of around 4,211 pounds. The elegant body lines definitely taper into the rear as well, with a set of modest rectangular tail lamps with the Buick insignia, full chrome bumper with flared extensions on each side,
fuel cap located behind the plate. And we're going to pop the hood. It's a little lever located right here. The Riviera came with a 401 cubic inch nail head V8. Two valves per cylinder with a single Rochester four barrel carburetor. This Riviera puts out a total gross horsepower output of around 325 at 4400 RPM and 445 foot pounds of torque at 2800 RPM. Zero to 60 times is around 7.3 seconds with a 15.9 second quarter mile at 85 miles an hour with a top speed of an estimated 122 miles an hour. And with a 20.1 gallon fuel tank running on regular and leaded gas and the an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating of approximately 9 city 12 highway. Absolutely pristine in this bag. The compressor for the factory frigid air air conditioning system. The interior is just about as posh as you can get for a luxury sport coupe back in the 60s. Featured fairly light neutral colors with a sporadic use of chrome as well as real wood trim. Your wood paneling going across the tops of the doors, lower carpeted portion with plenty of bright accenting. Handle for the rear passengers for easy exit and I'll show that in just a little bit. Padded armrest and you also have this cream color keyed composite material. It also lines the bottom of the dash as well as center console as an alternative to um, traditional metal used. You have all of your power window switches as you saw earlier. This particular vehicle also has a power driver's seat. You have power adjustments for forward, back, up, and down. Manual vent. As well as your manual mirrors. The seats are also just as beautiful as they are comfortable with the soft textured pattern cloth, little styling buttons, and the smooth vinyl padding going across the sides. Also aluminum accented with an aluminum entry guard, polished accented pedals as well as kick plate down below, not to mention your floor accent lighting. Probably one of my favorite things about these Rivieras is the overhang dash. It's such a unique styling cue, and then you have the center console jutting out straight down below. So you have a lot of angles in the vehicle, but it's all it all kind of works well in balancing with each other. Those same stylistic elements can also be seen in the 90s generation Riviera from 1995 to 1999. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Such a potent and throaty V8 sound. Rocks the vehicle back and forth, truly muscular. Shut her up. This vehicle comes with the Sonomatic Transistor AM radio.
also have a manually dimming rear view mirror. I just twist that little button there. Like I said, this vehicle does come with factory equipped air conditioning. It's all controlled by these little toggle switches located up under the dash. Basically, you can control the air coming in from both sides, temperature, as well as coming into the rear, courtesy light, as well as power actuated antenna. Like I said, you have your headlights here, as well as your two speed wipers. And as we go down the center console, you have your lighter and ashtray, little storage compartment. Now all this top portion is metal, carrying into the chrome accented rear with an extra ashtray and lighter. Going across your beautiful aluminum dash is a set of large gauge pods housing your speedometer, analog clock, as well as different gauges including your fuel, oil, voltometer, and vehicle temperature. Turn signals. Located up in the center, aircraft inspired air vents. You also have manually activated vents by little toggle switches to let in fresh air from the outside. Your parking brake, as well as release. And if you have your headlights on, you have your dimmer switch down below here. When activated, it automatically flips on the high beams. Such a beautiful and timeless automobile. We'll go ahead and shut her down. We'll go ahead and check out the back seat. The seat folds up and away, increasing the ability and ease of the rear passengers for entry and exit. And instead of having a traditional full bench seat, you have kind of a bucket seat configuration, which is also pretty unique. You also have this aluminum accented plate coming down here with the Riviera logo that houses your rear speaker. Now if we go ahead and shut the door, I'll show you this handle I was mentioning earlier. So let's say you're in for the cruise, off to your journey, and once you get back, for example, if somebody forgot to let you out the vehicle, or if you're just sitting back here while the vehicle's off and nobody's in the front seat, just pull up on this handle, and it automatically unlocks it, so you don't have to worry about stretching so far up to the top handle up there. Just increasing a little bit of the ease. It is also illuminated in the back. Accent lighting in the rear with coat hooks. Your power window switches, stitched armrest, and the same wood trim trapes now under the back seat. Gorgeous. And we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Plenty of trunk space. Tire pressure, jack instructions. Note that you don't have that rear exit handle on the passenger door. Manually adjusting passenger seat.
You also have an illuminated accent light right up under the dash. I don't know if you saw that earlier or not. You also have a manual trunk release button here, or pulley. You just pull on it, and if my memory serves me correct, I believe it is vacuum assisted. You pull it out, and it automatically releases the trunk. It's also illuminated, and has all the original books and records for it, which is also pretty neat. The original owner's manual. I really get a, get a kick out of finding stuff like this. A beautiful and timeless automobile. With fantastic styling that set it apart definitely from the rest of the competition. Still beautiful today and will always be remembered in the classic history book. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the 1963 Buick Riviera. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.